good? Okay, thank you. All right. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome. Welcome to the College of the Environment's annual spring celebration. I'd like to begin by acknowledging that we are on the land of the Coast Salish peoples that touches the shared waters of all the tribes and bands within the Suquamish, Tulalip, and Muckleshoot nations. I also acknowledge and honor the tribal nations across Washington State and the many indigenous peoples from across the country who also live and work in Seattle and the surrounding areas. For those of you who are joining us for the first time, this includes me, at this spring celebration, this event is meant to celebrate the outstanding accomplishment of members of the College of the Environment community. It's truly an honor to be here presenting these awards today. Our college is home to some of the most exceptional faculty, students, postdocs, researchers, and staff in the world, all working in concert to understand and tackle the most urgent environmental issues facing on our planet. But in the midst of all that urgency, we should try and remember the importance of taking a break on a beautiful Seattle spring day <laughs> to enjoy some popsicles and good company. I also know from many of my, my many years in academia that often the most outstanding people are the least likely to take credit for the impact that, they're, that they have on their field and on their peers. I look forward to sharing at least some of their remarkable accomplishments with all of you today. Finally, I'd like to thank our awards committee for their hard work sorting through so many persuasive nominations and to recommend today's awardees. Before we get into our college awards, though, I'd like to take a few minutes, and it really will take some minutes, uh, to acknowledge those members of our community who've received outstanding honors from organizations outside of the College of the Environment this past year. These awards represent the broad impact the college has beyond our campus and the strong reputation our community has cultivated across many disciplines. I'll begin with major awards for faculty, staff, researchers, and postdocs. So in the Department of Atmospheric Sciences, Cecilia Bitts, the Suyukuro Manabe Climate Research Award from the American Meteorological Society for fundamental contributions to polar climate science, including numerical modeling, its role in the global climate system, and causes and consequences of polar climate change. <laughs> David Battisti, a fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences for his work on climate variability. <laughs> Shui Chen, the Sverdrup Gold Medal from the American Meteorological Society for fundamental contributions to understanding of tropical air-sea interactions through innovative use of observations and coupled atmospheric wa atmosphere wave ocean modeling. <laughs> Dale Duran, Artificial Intelligence for Science, Industry, and Society Prize for outstanding contribution of relevance to society. In the Department of Earth and Space Sciences, George Bergantz, the Norman L. Bowen Award from the American Geophysical Union in recognition of outstanding contributions to the fields of volcanology, geochemistry, and petrology. In the School of Aquatic and Fisheries Sciences, Dan Di Nicola, Best Film and the Audience Choice Award for West, uh, Western Division of the American Fisheries Society for his film, Just Keep Swimming. <laughs> Tim Essington, Fellow of the American Fisheries Society for advancing understanding of the interconnections between marine ecosystems and human society. Julian Alden, fellow Ecological Society of America for pushing the frontiers of invasion ecology and deepening the understanding of freshwater sustainability 
for tireless science communication and for his dedication to training the next generation of freshwater ecologists and conservation biologists. In the School of Environmental and Forest Sciences, Anthony DiChiaru, winner of the Tech Challenge Water Council for his work on a platform for building sustainable and affordable water sensors with superior performance. <laughs> Brian Harvey, Early Career Fellow, Ecological Society of America, for deepening understanding of the effects of natural disturbances on resilience and management of forests, for excellence in science communication and outreach, and for outstanding teaching, teaching and mentoring at all levels. In the School of Oceanography, Parker McCready, fellow American Geophysical Union for his work to advance the fundamental understanding of ocean coasts and estuaries where fresh water and salt water mix. And in Friday Harbor Labs, Emily Carrington, fellow American Association for the Advancement of Science, for her research contributions in biomechanics and ecophysiology, as well as efforts to promote diversity and inclusion in science. And now to outstanding student awards. In the Department of Atmospheric Sciences, Daniel Yoveras, outstanding student presentation, American Geophysical Union. Eduardo Maza, Outstanding Student Presentation, American Meteorological Society. <laughs> Ida Savarin, Outstanding Student Presentation Award, American Meteorological Society. <laughs> In the School of Aquatic and Fisheries Sciences, Hannah Bassett, Best Student Paper, MARE Center for Mar Maritime Research Conference. <laughs> Natalie Mastic, Best Student Oral Presentation, Pacific Fisheries Technologists Annual Conference. Anna Seip, Best Student Talk Award, Marianas Terrestrial Conservation Conference. In the School of Environmental and Forest Sciences, Arthur Shin Wu Shu, Gregory Award, American Fisheries Society. Lauren Satterfield, John Pierce Outstanding Graduate Student Award, Washington Cooperative Fish and Wildlife Research Unit. So congratulations to all of you for these many remarkable accomplishments and thank you for all the uh, honor and prestige you also bring to the College of the Environment. Now without further ado, let's begin this year's College of Environment Awards. Our first is the award for distinguished staff member. This year's winner is known for going above and beyond for students and colleagues, always striving to provide extra care and support to everyone she works with. She was also recognized in her nominations as a strong agent of positive change within her department and for bringing optimism, integrity, collaboration, and respect to every challenge she faces. Please welcome to the stage this year's distinguished staff member, Hetty Schofield, Administrator in the Department of Atmospheric Sciences. I'll let Hetty's nominations speak for themselves, so here are some quotes from them. Hetty is an extraordinary leader in our department. We are deeply grateful to her and we rely on her completely. She always delivers solutions to every problem. 
Hetty is not only outstanding at her job, she goes beyond that pr by providing personalized care and attention to our community. There are over 130 graduate students, postdoc staff, and faculty in our department, and Hetty can tell you something special and unique about each one. She even knows most of our undergraduates, though we don't know how. There is not a day that goes by when she is not attending to the needs of one or more individuals in the department. Her efforts and kindness are highly appreciated by everyone. Please join me in congratulating Hetty once again and in thanking her for her hard work and dedication. The next award we'll be presenting is for Outstanding Teaching Faculty. Our winner this year is recognized for her innovative course design and the large-scale impact of her mentorship and training of teaching assistants within the college. Her effort, efforts across a vast array of courses stood out among an impressive group of nominees. Please welcome to our stage this year's Outstanding Teaching Faculty Award winner, Mikkel Noor, <laughs> Associate Professor. <laughs> Mikkel is an associate teaching professor in the School of Oceanography, and I'd like to read some of the comments from her nomination. Uh, Mikkel's efforts have been central to the development of an environment within the college where both faculty and students can thrive. Through her leadership initiative, creativity, and guidance, Mikkel has helped define a clear role for teaching faculty within our programs. She is an exemplar and an exceptional mentor and role model for all instructors interested in improving their teaching. Another nomination read, as a co-instructor, I have found that delivering the annual college TA training with Mikkel has been a highlight of my professional life. She brings so much joy to this work, cultivates a community of learners, and really harnesses the enthusiasm and knowledge of everyone in the room. Please give another round of applause for Mikkel. Next up is the award for exceptional mentoring of undergraduates. This year's winner was nominated for his exceptional commitment to supporting students and pr for providing them with opportunities to challenge themselves, both as researchers and as science communicators. Please join me in welcoming to the stage Jose Guzman, Assistant Teaching Professor in the School of Aquatic and Fishery Sciences. Um, so, uh, some quotes from Jose's nominations. Um, outside of the formal classroom set setting, Professor Guzman always looked out for my marine biology peers and me by consistently encouraging us to take on new challenges and opportunities. No matter how many responsibilities he had, he always found time to help. He challenged us to critically think through the best ways to tell our research story, and we would not have been able to succeed if it wasn't for his help. Please join me in thanking again Jose for his fantastic work as an educator and a mentor. <laughs> Next is the College Award for Outstanding Commitment to Diversity. We have two winners this year, both of whom are being recognized for their work revitalizing and transforming the diversity, equity, and inclusion program in the School of Environmental and Forest Sciences. One committee member noted that both lead by example, and the energy they wholeheartedly and genuinely put in this effort is remarkable. Please welcome Associate Professor Sarah Converse and Assistant Professor Brian Harvey to the stage this year's award recipients for outstanding commitment to diversity. Thank you. 
Here's some quotes from the nominations. Uh, the efforts of both are worthy of individual recommendations, but in their capacity as DEIC leaders, we see their joint efforts as one amazing contribution, accentuated by their individual efforts. Principles of diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging permeate in their labs, their mentorship, and their service as co-chairs of the CEFs DEIC. Another nomination, nomination commended their commitment to improving DEI effort, DEI in field work, which is a cru crucial aspect of environmental science that is often shown to be a barrier to entry for excluded and minoritized groups. Please join me again in thanking Sarah and Brian with a round of applause. Next is our award for Outstanding Community Impact. This year's winner is recognized for the far-reaching impact of his work on the Los Angeles California Tree Ambassador Program, a program which works with historically disinvested communities in LA to plant trees and close the urban forest equity gap. He has built community connections across the West Coast always with a clear focus on environmental justice. Please welcome Brian Lewis Smith, enrolled citizen of the Potawatomi Nation and student in the School of Marine and Environmental Affairs. I'm so sorry. I said Brian rather than Brian. I don't have my glasses on. I, and, and I've already messed up his name once today. By He was Bruce on the poster. This is Bryce. And, and Bryce was so sweet when I sent him an email apologizing that, his, apologizing that his name was wrong. He told me that he actually got a chuckle when he was called Bruce, not so much with Brian. But... but but Bruce, because his middle name is Wayne, and so in high school they said he was one letter away from, from uh, Batman. So thank you, Bryce, for being uh, such, <laughs> such so graceful under my constant messing up of your name, so I apologize. Um, Bryce's nominations were exuberant in their praise. Um, I will quote one. Bryce Lewis Smith is one of the most impressive, driven, proactive, and intelligent students I have ever had the pleasure of working with. He immediately demonstrated a strong grasp of the nuances and challenges within the field of local level climate resilience. I was most impressed by his ability to translate complex scientific research to the public to engage historically marginalized communities in sustainable city building. Another reads, the Tree Ambassador Program represents a giant leap forward for Los Angeles, and it simply would not have been possible without Bryce. Bryce is a fierce, passionate, and community-driven leader. Thank you, Bryce, for your dedication to advancing environmental justice and building community connections. So can we all please give him a, a final round of applause? Now we will be moving on to the final two awards, the Undergraduate and Graduate Dean's Medals. Our Undergraduate Dean's Medalist is known for the leadership and service she has provided to her peers in the Marine Biology Program, particularly in planning and implementing various initiatives involving academic success, diversity, and social justice. Please welcome to the stage Aya Horhi. Um, one of Ina's nominations noted that she has been an exceptional student and community member throughout her career at the University of Washington. Our program has benefited substantially through her interests, engagement, and talent, and we believe that she will be a wonderful role model for our college as she develops her career going forward. Another discussed her role as a student ambassador, a role in which she represents the College of the Environment. And, 
and connects with prospective and current students. Ina's experience working with housing and food services, helping new freshmen move into their dorms, leading educational programs in the residence halls, and her experience working at the admissions front desk is a huge benefit to her in this role and to the entire team of ambassadors. Her broad knowledge of the UW student life, along with her undergraduate research experience, is extremely helpful when interacting with prospective students and their families. Thank you so much, Aina. And now on to our final category, this year's Graduate Dean's Medalist. Our winner is recognized for his impressive graduate student teaching record and his co-authorship of multiple published papers and his commitment to the advancement of diversity, equity, and inclusion in the Department of Atmospheric Sciences. The committee was, I quote, astonished at the impact of his individual contributions across the college. Please welcome the 2022 Graduate Dean's Medalist, Tyler Cox. One of Tyler's nominations read, his, extensor, his extensive efforts have made our community a better place and go far beyond the expectations for graduate student service. He is also an excellent student and his professors have expressed their gratitude for his contributions in the classroom, including his willingness to share insights with other students and demonstrate curiosity. Another stated Tyler was instrumental in conceptualizing, organizing, and teaching two new departmental seminar co courses focused on EDI issues. His enthusiasm, consistency, reliability, and willingness to dedicate time towards the courses inspired significant efforts from others. Thank you, Tyler. Congratulations, oh, did my mic just go off? Congratulations again, is that, is the mic off? Oh, there we go, okay. Congratulations again to all of our award winners and to all who were nominated, your dedication to the College of the Environment, and most importantly, to your fellow communi community members makes me incredibly proud to be a part of this institution. Now, I hope you'll all join me in enjoying some popsicles again in this nice warm spring weather, um, and we'll look forward to a wonderful summer and another wonderful year of doing excellent work together. Thank you so much. Thank you.